right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Friday, April 7th, getting ready to take down a bunch of Amarones. Tonight, our super Amarone tasting. Hey, we got a lot of great drinking going on. The month of April, and one of our favorite wineries from California for Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Zinfandel. Yes, that's right, I even like this winery. Zinfandel is Hartford Court, and I remember the very first tasting I attended with Don Hartford at Two Chefs when he was just starting to release his wines. This winery came about in the early 90s. I think it was 96, 97 vintages. They were showing of Hartford Court wines versus Grand Cru Burgundies. That's right, man. When you want to make a statement and say, our wines will hang with the greatest on earth, what do you do? You put them on the table with the greatest wines on earth, and that's just what Don did uh, a couple decades ago when I first met him. And I've had the almost respect for him, not just because of that, but because he continues to make some of the greatest wines in their varietal types. In all of California, hey, in all of the world, man, I'll tell you, that afternoon, his first couple of vintages, um, blind to 30 people in the room, I would say 80% of them picked his wines over these great Grand Cru's from some of the top producers that cost exponentially more than these Hartford wines. Still to this day, he makes just a tiny amount of these single vineyard wines, and uh, some of them just 50 cases, 100 cases. We're lucky enough to get um, pretty much anything we want. If we call up Don, he was happy to send us a few cases of his most limited production wines. Hey, the Russian River wines for what we have on this offer, $20 for the Chardonnay? Are you kidding me? We got some incredible prices. And the single vineyard wines are still under 100 bucks. most of them under $70 on this offering. Uh, the Chardonnays from the Sonoma Coast, Seascape, my favorite. Uh, this is one of the last 10, 15 years easily. Trust me, I've had uh, examples uh, that are 10 plus years old. These wines age very well, like the greatest wines of Burgundy. We've got the new releases, 2000. 15 even on the table here that's right this four hearts most excellent juice and uh phew, all of these wines like i said uh to me relative values this wine is under 40 dollars a bottle 38 bucks most excellent one of the best chardonnays that i've had this year the stone coats we've got land's edge which has been in our gift boxes on uh, numerous occasions and then uh the tiny production wines the velvet sisters then the cleon's block and uh, the fog dance just a dazzling array of great Pinot Noir. And hey, we can put the Zinfandel on here. You know what? I think it was like in one of the top five. Uh, it was in the top 10 this year in the Wine Spectator, top 100. And uh, the 2014, which um, I'm in a relative value for a great Zinfandel. Uh, even their most expensive Zinfandel is still $50, $60 a bottle for these 100-year-old vineyards. And these are field blends. That, to me, is the best Zinfandel ones that have other great varietals in them. That's how the old Italian immigrants planted these vineyards. So check it out. Everything we've got, the new releases from Hartford Court Winery. And hey, I'm going to include our interview with Don Hartford at the end of this uh, email for you. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.